Hi everyone, Kieran Ovasapian here from Film Storm Studios and today I'm really excited to show off this motion matching system that we've developed for the Unreal Engine. And basically we've got four different states, we've got walking, jogging, sprinting, crouching, um, oh five and injured. So um, let's just get started, let's um, just push, I'm going to go straight into a sprint and just kind of give it my, a victory lap to start off with. And as you can see, he'll start to shift his weight really nicely when we, we give him different inputs. So I'll just start off with um, the 40 or 99 degrees. So here we go. And then we'll start to do some figure eights so you can start to see how the, the blending actually happens. So you can see that he's shifting his weight really nicely and try and do this as smoothly as I can because otherwise it will kind of give him some offsets but there you go look at that that looks really nice zero anim blueprints it's basically just all happening through a um, uh, cache that kind of gets spit out at the end um, no transitions or anything this is just all um, motion matched through our system all right, so I'm going to come up here. I'm going to stop and let him have a little look around. And I'm just going to slightly go into a walk and then give him a push. And then we'll start off here and do some some jumping. So you can see that the system is working really nicely and goes into a land. All right, let's see if I can get him to do some walking. Not a jog to be a bit gentle on the stick. Here we go. And see, even when he, he starts to turn, he'll look in that direction first. And the, the weight shifting is really, really nice. And you can notice that the feet stay really, really planted, um, depending on which location we're, we're kind of moving in. All right, so let me come over to the Cave of Doom. Uh, looks pretty mysterious. Let's go into a, a crouch. And let's make our way through there. And you know what, he doesn't actually want to go through, so let's um, turn around and go back this way. Again, this has really nice turning. He doesn't move as quickly because he's crouching. But this is all driven through the physical properties based on how fast he was actually recorded moving. Um, and depending on how hard I'm pressing, I'm actually pushing the maximum speed. So he'll start, he'll kind of start to speed up a little bit over time but I think he's already reached his, his max velocity for, for that. Um, and say there's a sniper off in the distance and then we get sniped. Um, the transition here might be a bit janky, but um, there you go. Um, there's no motion matching in between those two. Um, but say now, now we're down and we've been injured and we're trying to, okay, let's try and crawl back to, to cover. There's gunshots all around us. Um, we need to get back and hide under this um, protective tree branch. So I think we're safe now and you can see that all of the transitions feel really weighted I'm pushing here he actually has to go out a bit to turn around um, it's not just he doesn't just start to rotate in that direction he has to actually physically rotate in that direction um, I have to say this system was very inspired by the Last of Us 2 demo that was um, recently showcased at the uh, PlayStation conference at E3 and um, it, yeah, it was it was really brilliant to watch and how all the the transitions and everything um, were like beautiful. And then I found out that they were using motion matching um, for most of the well, it sounds like most of the locomotion it kind of looks like it. Um, and so I'm kind of trying to set up that same system here, which is um, I think this has been really successful considering that this basically took me about five minutes to set up once. I pressed the, the go button to analyze all our animations. And that pretty much happened seamlessly in the background to kind of pull all that data. So um, some things that we actually need to um, improve on. Uh, some of these are stopping animations. There's one, one problem with the uh, motion matching that I found. So if I let go of the stick, you'll see that sometimes he goes into that. And that's basically because he's getting the rotation from the motion matching clip rather than the rotation from the world. So I'm pretty sure I just have to fix one of the, the variables or something in my um, in my code to, to give it. So most of the time he, he finishes on, on the right foot. 
so you can see he even goes into like a slow jog when he slows down like pretty much 98% of the time he's putting his feet where he should be but um, some it's usually just when he's stopping is when we um, we just need to be get a little bit more accurate data to for him to finish correctly in the right rotation so you can see it's working really nicely and then you can even do start to do some complex movements where you can like do this he even he even supports 180s because we recorded 180s see so, um, I slowed down too much before I did it did that again there you go so he kind of goes into like a, almost like a slide every time it's it's pretty much a little bit different if I can actually get him to do it it's the thing it's not like it's been coded in you have to actually kind of match that animation and then he's not gonna he's not gonna want to perform for me There you go, so that was a, we're getting some now. He's kind of curving. Yeah, that was a good one, so he kind of even slipped, slipped a little. But you can see just it, it, just holding the controller and playing it, the character feels so, so grounded and like, it, it feels really nice to play. All right, so let's, let's kind of sneak around this corner. And bam! Oh no, he went down. <laughs> so um, yeah, he's gonna try and maybe get around this corner to try and um, hide a bit. Oh no, there we are. Yeah, so I'm really happy with this system. It's um, everything blends so nicely together. It, it, I'm I'm actually surprised it's it's working as as well as um, it is. Um, and I'll be really happy to show off this plugin in a couple of um, days once I finish polishing off the actual um, the code and getting it pretty much handy dandy and really nice looking. But I was just really excited. I wanted to to show this off. And oh, there's actually one other thing I, I need to um, figure out how I'm going to incorporate. So basically, all of our ground movement is handled through this kind of ground plane goal. So if you can imagine, there's like a little. Um, goal being placed at the end of this gray line so and then that length is actually the velocity that we're trying to achieve through the root motion so I'm saying okay the goals here this is how long our root motion should be that we're trying to match and then it grabs all the bones analyzes the bones and basically off some like grabs the different um, animation motion keys that we've, we've analyzed and then uh, matches that to that goal with the root motion length and it says okay if you match any of these then we're going to use this this animation set for this particular part of the the animation and that's how basically uh, the root, ma root motion matching is working in this system so for falling I, I figured that I just need to um, do basically the same thing up and down so if I say if you're over here and there's a there's a ladder Theoretically, I should be able to mount it, and then it basically switches the um, the root motion to or the the goal. Instead of going around here, it should be going up and down. Um, and then when I push up and down, we're getting the same root motion length. Um, so theoretically, he should be able to go up and down and match those motions really nicely to climb and even traverse. Um, you might even be able to traverse the ledges um, using that if we set it to left, right, up and down rather than kind of like this 360 on ground um, plane. So in theory it should, it should work really nicely and we've recorded the animations for the, um, the motion matching to climb ladders and also hang from ledges and stuff so we'll be able to test that out as well so that would be really interesting to, to see if that's going to work. Yeah, and I've also had a bit of fun setting up this foliage as well. Uh, make him creep around. Uh, they, well, this is heavily inspired from that Last of Us trail. I just love watching when they um they move through all the, the foliage. So that's just a custom shader. So this is really nice. So every, well, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've found this interesting and can't wait to see more from uh, what's going to happen in this project. Yeah, I'm trying, still trying to get him to do that slide for you, but he's not wanting to. He's kind of doing it, but um, yeah. Well, so I'll probably be uploading uh, more progress videos for this um, as we go through. 
but um, I think this is a pretty big achievement on its own. So thank you everyone for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. And we're going around the cylinder. Just one more. Let's just do one more victory lap around the cylinder. Yeah, I, I, I can't stop playing. I, I've, I've been playing with this for so long. It's, um, it's pretty hard. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna um, we'll stop the video now. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.